Hi and welcome to the channel Love of Cyprics and Gynecology. Pelvic organ prolapse is a condition that requires thorough physical examination before we can treat this condition. So it has been recommended by various urogynecological societies that a pelvic organ prolapse quantification system this should be done preoperatively and then we again perform it postoperatively to measure the anatomical success of the operative intervention. So let's discuss this POPQ that is the POPQ system of quantification of the prolapse. So in the POPQ system it basically is uh, uh, done by six referral points and three measurements and it defines exactly where our defect is located whether it is the anterior compartment, posterior compartment or the apical compartment. And one thing more that it does not use the terms such as the rectocele or the cystocele which are uh, commonly uh, said but they may not exactly depict the organ of prolapse. So the next thing is that this POPQ system, the reference point for this POPQ system is our hymen. Anything that is proximal to the hymen or inside the vagina that is given as the minus points that is in the minus centimeters and anything that is below the hymen we give it as the plus points or the plus centimeters outside the hymen. So in this diagram you can see anteriorly we have urinary bladder, urethra and then we have vagina, cervix and the uterus and posteriorly we have anal canal, rectum and uh, the bowel. So in the pelvic organ prolapse quantification system we have six referral points and three measurements that we take. The above part, the above uh, three reference points are for the anterior compartment defect. The lowermost series that you see, we these are for the posterior compartment defect and in the middle leaf we have these three measurements that we take. These are for the apical defects. So first let's discuss our anterior compartment and the AA point. See, AA point is basically on the anterior vaginal wall, 3 cm proximal to the external urethral meatus. So, from the external urethral meatus, 3 cm proximal to the hymen. So, somewhere over here, we have our AA point. So, next point that we have is C point. The C point is the leading point on the cervix. So here we can see the leading point on the cervix is somewhere over here. So this is our C point. And next that we point we have is BA point. The BA point basically refers to the dependent most part on the anterior vaginal wall. So it can be from anywhere on the anterior vaginal wall from the AA point to the C point. So, regarding the measurements now, see AA point, it is normally in when we have no prolapse, the AA point is above the hymen or we can say proximal to the hymen and it is minus 3. And in case of a maximal prolapse, totally outside the vagina, it can be up to plus 3. Now, coming on to our C point, the C point usually you can say that it is. Uh, is inside the vagina in case of a non uh, we have no normal patient with no prolapse it is going to be above the hymen right and how much above the hymen that depends on patient to patient so let's say in this case we have it as minus 8 that is 8 centimeter above the hymen so we are going to say write it as minus 8 and next that we are going to have is our BA point see in case of a patient in case a patient is having no prolapse the AA point and BA point are similar that is they are going to be at minus 3 and in case of a maximal prolapse see basically that means the cervix is lying outside and BA point is somewhere over here and that is also outside so the maximally it can go up to the length of the cervix so it can vary from minus 3 to plus 8. So this was regarding our prolapse of the anterior compartment. Now let's talk about 
द पोस्टीरियर कंपार्टमेंट सिमिलरली वी हैव अ पॉइंट दैट इज ए पी पॉइंट द ए पी पॉइंट इज थ्री सेंटीमीटर अब द हाइम ऑन द पोस्टीरियर वेजाइन वॉल समवेयर ओवर हेयर एंड नाउ टॉकिंग अबाउट द पॉइंट डी सी इट इज कॉल्ड एज डी बिकॉज इट डिपेक्ट्स द पाउच ऑफ डार्कलस विच इज अब द पोस्टीरियर फॉर्निक्स और इट कैन डिपेक्ट द पोस्टीरियर फॉर्निक्स एज सच सो दिस द डीपेस्ट पॉइंट ऑन द पोस्टीरियर फॉर्निक्स दैट वी हैव ओवर हेयर दिस इज कॉल्ड एज डी एंड the next point that we have is bp again bp means that it is the most dependent part on the posterior vaginal wall right over here somewhere so this again ap if we talk about the measurements it is 3 cm proximal to hymen that means it is at minus 3 and it can maximally go up to plus 3 the d point is the maximal depth of the posterior fornix that we have and in case of a uh, there in case the patient is having no prolapse it basically corresponds to our total vaginal length so basically that means uh, we supposingly that we have this patient and she is having the d at minus 10 and bp can vary anywhere between the ap point and the d point so it can be minus 3 to in case of a maximal prolapse plus 10 and d again if the d point is at minus 10 the maximal it can go is up to plus 10 now talking about gh pb and tvl these are measurements that we take on the uh on the perineum of the patient right gh and the pb these two points so genital hiatus means basically we are taking a reading that is from the mid of the external urethral meatus to the midline on the posterior hymenal ring so from mid urethral right to the mid point on the posterior hymenal ring so this will be our gh and from where the gh ends is our perineal body's starting point so from the posterior hymenal ring to the mid anal opening we have the perineal body so now talking about the measurement of these see uh, it depends on patient to patient so basically as the prolapse the apical prolapse that is this prolapse portion is going to come out the gh is going to increase and the perineal body is going to decrease right so the next point that we have is total vaginal length the total vaginal length is the only reading that we take after the prolapse is completely reduced all the other readings are taken on the maximal uh, straining you can say on the maximal straining of the patient or when we see the prolapse as maximum that is when we take all these points and after reducing the prolapse inside we take the total vaginal length right so total vaginal length can uh, vary uh, or it can be uh, equal in case of a patient is having no prolapse the total vaginal length and d are going to be similar as per our popq grid we get to know which compartment defect it is which is the leading point and at it is at which centimeter and then we stage it accordingly popq is the system that is a uh, we can consider it as a standardized system so any study that is conducted with the uh, on a prolapse patient that is usually done with the popq system because there are fixed reference points or the measurements that we take and they are going to be same across the globe and uh, same uh, we can say that the inter uh, observer reliability is more in case of a popq system but though this system is uh, because it is it takes more time it is more hectic to perform that we have to note each and every measurement it is not routinely performed by every uh, gynecologist across the globe but it should be ideally performed pre operatively and post operatively so this was all regarding the popq system if you like my video please do like subscribe and share the channel love of statrix and gynecology thanks for watching